Hi guys, this is Paul with UniqueSquared.com. As everyone talks about push, but not everyone has gotten their hands on one, a common question is being asked about whether or not third-party plugins will be as easy to use with push as Ableton's own suite products. As you can see, using Ableton's own operator, controls are easy to access, and even when menu diving, navigation is clean and simple. Sadly, third-party plugins are not this integrated out of the box, but luckily, that's a very easy fix. Using an instance of Korg Poly6, we'll show you the quickest method for getting the controls you like at the top level. Go to the Poly6 plugin or something similar from your own library in the channel view and click the configure button. Once this is clicked, via the plugin view, select the controls you want mirrored by push. These will appear in the order they are selected. I like to have my filters and basic shaping controls available at the top level, so those are the ones I select. On playback, you can see that the Poly6 plugin quickly slides into the push workflow with minimal preparation. Thanks to how the Poly6 is set up, all the labels are easy to read and they spread across the push LCD just like Ableton's own suite products. With a few quick tweaks, the Poly6 is suddenly playing more like the analog original it is modeled after. With a more complicated plugin, like Native Instruments Massive, you might want more controls than the simple top level configuration I built for the Poly6. You might say, but Paul, how am I supposed to succeed in this godless world with only eight knobs? To which I will say, stop whining. But more importantly, the tab menu system in Push is great for these kind of breakouts. As we select four and then eight controls, we see everything still appear on the first page. We'll keep adding controls, but no longer see them adding on our visible page and push. Just as in the case of the Poly6, the massive controls are now responding quickly in the oh-so-push way that makes everyone so happy with push. If we dive down into the second level of the controls for massive, we can now see that we have three pages listed on the bottom part of the LCD menu. Each of these pages can be accessed via the button immediately below them in the device view. And that's the very simple way that you can map third-party plugins to Ableton Push. If you don't want to do this every time you use the plugin, simply save the device and load that one in the future. For the best prices on Ableton, Ableton Push, or to learn more about both, visit us at uniquesquared.com. Thanks for watching.